Oh, he really is it too, so I need to create a piece of tape pistol and write it. Yes. Now let me. Oh! Oh, oh, no. Well, this is me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? This is Goldberg once more, and here we have the episode number 14. Now, for this one, we are gonna be doing the quests in B Works and the Goblins camps as well. And why are we doing this? Well, simply because we want to make sure that we level up as quickly as possible, but enjoying the content of the game focusing on quests and achievements and also because I need some achievement points um, basically because I would like to get to 10,000 on this run at least and that's gonna be a little bit difficult if you don't run quests so there we go now the very first quest is gonna be here with Gabachaft now you need to speak to him and tell him that either it's unacceptable that they want to do something with him like the tapestry stuff that's gonna ask you to kill some viewers because if you say that you actually want to cut a piece of tapestry with him you will need to fight him and other seven goblins so it's really up to you you wouldn't change anything now <clears throat> If you decide to kill the B-Works, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because you first need to kill three B-Works in, in a single combat, sorry. And you will need to kill four B-Work archers and then four mages and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky because you can't really find those ones. Then you talk to Burkupin to take the second quest because it's super easy, so... And then on the left you will find the Borkid the Pacific. So you will talk to him and you will ask him if he's mocking you because if you don't do that you will start a combat with him which is not the point because you actually need to do this quick. So yeah, I needed to combat him and then talk to him again because I didn't know this. I mean I didn't remember this. Well, well, there you have it. You're supposed to do this. So, the second option, then the first one, and then you talk to him again, and you got it. It's that easy. I mean, you don't need to fight a group of B works because if you're doing this solo, it's gonna take you a lot of time. Then I started killing some goblins because I needed to drop some resources for poor kid. These monsters are not difficult at all. They are actually pretty easy to kill and the other fact is that the team is getting a lot better as you can see here the damage is getting better and the spells that I unlocked are really good so I'm really having fun at this point because I mean I can't do many combos and stuff like that so yeah I'm loving it to be honest I'm loving this one so after quickly killing these goblins you will need to take the drop to uh, Burkupin sorry it's not Burk it is Burkupin and that's it that's another quest completed then I decided that I needed to run the dungeon because I couldn't find four archers in a single combat so I remembered that the first uh, room of this dungeon is basically that a lot of uh, archers plus remember that I'm doing the jumbo mambo quests and now I'm required to kill the Borg scene so I'm basically running two quests at a time you know that I like to save time save money save everything so for that reason I'm multitasking right here as you can see I just skip to the last room of the dungeon because I wanted to show you that you can actually run all the achievements in one row so here I'm doing the first one the 
first position that it requires you to kill the Borg scene in the first position. Then the special is going to require that you can only damage or not damage. You can only kill monsters whenever you are under the unhealable state as you can see here so in order to do so you need to keep the magus alive because the mob that is gonna put you under that state is gonna be the tofu the dark tofu so you need to keep the magus alive as well as the tofu because if you're not unhealable you will ruin this achievement basically it's not that difficult as you can see it was just like six or seven uh, turns so yep that's it there you have it and of course that juicy juicy XP oh my god I, I just love it <laughs> alrighty so then as you can see here I also wanted to show you the duo because I find these ones like super funny to do sometimes the dungeons are a little bit difficult for the level cap I mean and when you do the duo it's uh, another challenge you know it's like it hits a little bit different so yeah I'm currently duoing with the hopper mage and this ram I think you have seen this before because I think that both of them hit really good and um, I normally try to get like one character with really good mobility and one character with really good damage in this case both of them can move freely through the map but for example with the Foggernaut and the Echo Flip I would say that the Foggernaut moves a little bit better throughout the map in the meantime that the echo flip hits a little bit harder sometimes so I don't know I'm just trying these classes because remember it's the actual first time I play with all of them I used to play with Kra, Ayop, Enrips and Pandua so this is completely new for me but well you guys tell me how I'm doing <laughs> so as you can see here the duo was not difficult at all I was about to die with this ram but well that's good then we talk to Jumbo Mumbo once more because he's gonna give us some money and some experience and now we need to go to the larva dungeon but we will do that in the future for now we need to kill more B-Works, in this case we need to kill 4 of them in a single combat, so we do exactly that, just easy peasy over there. These monsters hit really hard, but I think that if you focus, if you do the focus challenge, it's gonna be really really easy. Then you enter to a tent here and you talk to Crazy Beaver because I mean this quest is just talking to him and then beating him because he basically wants to get uh, dumb again. Remember that viewers are dumb. I mean they don't know how to read, they don't know how to speak. But this one states that as he ate a lot of goblins, he became wise. But he was now under constant pressure from his friends and family and he wanted to be dumb once more so he asked us to hit his head really hard so we just need to fight him beat him and that's gonna be pretty much the quest for that reason I I didn't continue with the last one but I just did this one because it's so simple that it doesn't really drag me out of the way you know and you talk to him and there you go that's now three quests in that's so easy all right then I found the Magus right here remember that we are doing this quest from the Gaba chef that we need to kill certain groups of viewers 
then well here we are killing what I think is the last mob I'm not really sure about that yep that was the last one so you speak to Gorbachev and you finish the quest now you will need a prospect set and a literal wand for the next quest you will talk to be war conductor he's gonna ask you the set and the one and you just give it to him and that is as simple as that so the actual first quest was outside B works camp in the Magna Inn so you talk to this one Pentagon Pentagon is gonna ask you to investigate if B-Works are still living in the Beaver's camp because it seems like he loves their beer and he really wants to know how to brew this kind of beer in particular so you will need to visit certain places in the Beaver's camp like this one over here minus six positive six which is like a library but at the same time it's a beer brewing company or something like that I mean it's a place where beer works brew beer right so you can find it here as you can see you have many books and some kind of distillery so yep then you will need to talk to Burton roll you will find that one in the same map of the dungeon just click on the left right here and you will find him this is the Magus. So I just speak to him and you ask him for the beer recipe. He says that it's not a big deal that you have the recipe because only Bee Works can brew uh, Bee Work brew and uh, beer, sorry. So as you read it, it says that in the ingredients you will need some help some hops, some yeast, some borg urine, <laughs> okay, and blood from a red goblin or a white goblin. So basically, beer beer is hops, yeast, urine, and blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is creepy, right? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so you will talk to Pentagon again and tell him that brewing this beer is super complicated and. It he'd rather buy it instead and then you will get the grand old duke of b work that's the first one so for the goblins camp you will come to raxitic you will speak to him and he's telling you that a troll is terrorizing him and you need to kill it so the troll is actually here at viewers camp you will find it at minus three positive 12 now this is not a regular troll, this is actually a tamed troll, which means that he's not gonna be that strong, you know, he's not gonna hit that hard, it's actually pretty easy to kill, but I really recommend you go in, in group if you are solo, if you're under level 90 or 100, because you may probably die, so it's like, uh, Keep an eye on it. Maybe you can kill it yourself, but you will need to either have any kind of healing spell or chills or something like that. Because, I mean, it's not that hard, but it's not that easy, you know? It's like, you need to focus a lot on this combat. And you need to be friends with this troll because you will see him a lot in the future so keep in mind that so now you speak to Raxidic again and you tell him that the troll is now dead and well that was the first quest you get some money some resources and some experience then you will talk to Gabras which is a painter and he will tell you that he needs some help because it seems like he lost a tool in this case a brush and so he sends you to the goblins academy which is a dungeon 
you will need to run all the dungeon just looking for a brush but that's good because I also wanted to get the achievements so I can't really complain now as I mentioned before like some minutes ago goblins are not difficult to kill but they could be tricky sometimes because um, they are like versatile they play with shields and with the resistances and stuff like that so be aware of that the only thing that I consider really difficult in this dungeon could be the achievements of the final uh, room because they could be confusing but the rest is pretty straightforward you just need to hit really hard and that's it you will not find like super expensive stuff over here just for you to know and so as usually I just skip to the last room just to show you how I did with the achievements now I messed up the special one because I didn't understand it it says that from the turn number two you need to make sure that every single enemy on the map start their turn on either an ally side or an enemy side which means that every single of your enemies will need to start the turn either next to you or next to an ally um, I thought it was the characters that needed to do that so I messed it up and I didn't really know why but I did then I realized that I was not reading it properly or that it was not written properly I don't really remember the thing is that I understood and I could make it possible but anyways here's the combat it was not that difficult as you can see I was barely touched by them because I mean they don't really hit hard so yep that was the part where the achievement got um, damage because of Grelka I could have just be next to the goblin but I didn't do it but anyways you can always try again so now as you can see here I just did three of them now you talk to the director run up run up and you will retrieve the brush that you will find in certain cabin in a cabinet or something like that you will find it right here so you can see it on the screen then you talk to him once more you thank him for the brush and you will tell him that you really want to leave leave come on leave there we go then you talk to Gob Russ once more and uh, well he thinks that your time is his so he will ask you to look for certain resources that he needs for his paintings you can find them on the screen right here so they're not really expensive I recommend you buy them if you don't have it because you know time is more expensive than money then you speak to him again you give him back the ingredients and you will need to fight a group of monsters that I don't know if they were jealous of him or they were just trying to do something bad I don't know but they want to kill him or something like that so you need to kill these ones instead uh, it's a really easy combat I mean it's just like four or five goblins more of the same actually these combats are not that difficult you will find difficult combats in the future but not right now so yep easy PC as you can see just hitting them and hitting and hitting and hitting it's not like a strategy or something like that just straightforward just just kill them and anyways after killing these monsters over here you will need to speak to Gub once more and uh, he will thank you for everything and he will give you some resources some money and some experience 
So then after entering to this tent, you will need to speak to Plastic Goblin and you will offer him some help. Why? Because we are the heroes. Yeah, so we need to help every single one. He will ask you to bring him certain resources from trolls that you can find either dropping them with the trolls or exchanging them with certain goblin in the camp. But in this case, I didn't really have the beer, so I just bought their resources. Just speak to him once more. And you will need to go to a certain place in the presence of this little one right here. The resources that you need to provide the goblin are these ones. The fat troll and I don't know the name of the other one. I realized that someone was asking me for help. It's a French guy. So I went to Astrup and I helped him out because I thought he was really nice. As you can see with the carver profession, he was not my friend. It's just that I listed my professions. I don't know why I did that because I was recording. But anyways, I just did it and I thought I could help someone. So that's it. Then you need to go back to the room where the Magus is. And you will find this monster here, a wolf. So, he wants the goblin. You can either sell it to him or protect him. If you sell it to him, you will get 10,000 camas. Yes, sir. 10,000 camas. And that's going to be the end of the quest. But if you don't want to do that because you feel bad about it, you can protect him. And you will not get 10,000 camas. But instead, you will get experience, which is like uh, 250,000 points of experience. So it's really up to you if you want to get 250,000 experience or 10,000 canas. Well, slip on it. Now, after killing this one, you will need to speak to the goblin once more. And... You will need to do this as many times as characters you have. As you can see here, another person asked me for help and I decided that, well, I needed to help as many people as I could. You know that starting from zero in this game is not so easy, so I really wanted to help all of them. But in this case, he actually paid for my services since he noticed that I was not getting experience from this one. It was 2,500 camas, which is not bad. Then we talked to Bork and Roll. And we are giving him the goblin, but not for him to eat like the wolf, but because he is a new pupil. So we talked to his dad once more, and he is very proud of his son right now. Now, we need to talk to Govriel, which is a white goblin. And we need to help him with certain stuff he needs. He will need wooden wings and some scarlet leaf wings because it seems like he wants to fly. And then we will talk to Gobrator, which is gonna ask you to help him find his beloved one. So after giving Gobriel all the things, Jesus. After giving him all the things he asked, he's telling you that he didn't really want to fly and you did that for nothing. So you get some experience, but you get the resources back. Now, talking about Gobrator, you need to go to this map and talk to Broxian. You will ask her basically to release Pink Gob, which is Gobrator's girl, I think, something like that. So she refuses and she says that the only way that she is giving Pink up free is that we bring her her weight in beer. So after giving her the beer, Pink up says that she doesn't want to go with Gobrator because she is now in love with some babies or something just like that. So we report back to Gobrator 
and he says that we need to kill the PUEs. And so Boroxine says that it's fine, but that we need to give her eight PUE eggs. Now, you can't really drop these ones. You will need to go and enter to this tent and you will talk to Goblin Swapper and you will need to exchange some beer and he will give you some peewee eggs now you need to find the specific number it's two beer for each peewee egg but you need to give him exactly 14 because if you give him 16 which is the 8 he's gonna give you a patrol so as you can see here you can get the resources from the previous quests uh, exchanging with him but that's it so the most efficient way to do it is to do 14 first to, to take seven and then two more to get one that's eight i need to do that four times because i have four characters then you tell her you're ready and you need to kill a bunch of peewees now keep in mind that these are not regular peewees these are like really strong peewees so don't think this is gonna be easy because it's not as you can see they almost killed me here because I thought they were like easy enough but mm -mm, they are not but well anyway stealing uh, health points is a really good way to go through this combat so now you talk to her again and she's really mad because you killed her peewees for Gabrator. So yep, Gabrator will remain alone. And remember guys, if your girl doesn't like you, doesn't like to be with you, she doesn't want to do it, don't insist. <laughs> then you will talk to Bork and Roll, which is going to be our last person to speak to in this journey. And uh, he will need to cast certain spells or something like that because it seems like he's getting short on time. So you will need to kill certain monsters. You've seen some knives he will provide you. The broken rolls scalpel. As you can see him here. You need to equip these ones. And you need to kill the monsters that I'm gonna show you with this one's equipped you can't equip something else so you will need to find five troll bones which is a pain in the butt you know you can find these either with the tame troll but it's like 60 percent drop rate or the troll araf troll araf i don't know the name it's gonna be 100 percent probability so you speak to Little Goblet and he will teleport you to the tame uh, troll place. And you will kill this one to try to get a bone. But I mean, it's like the drop rate is not super high. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend you staying here all day. Because you need to wait for him to reappear. And you need to kill him like... 20 times or something like that because you will not get the bones I can assure you that I mean 60% is not that bad but since you're killing just one it's not so probable so I would recommend you to go and kill the actual trolls if you can do that now I don't know if you can do that anyways I crafted the scissors here because you need 10 sadida tufts now guys, you will see something on the screen that you should not repeat, so don't do it at home. This is the way I just exchange, in a matter of saying, the resources. I just, <laughs> I just do that because I don't like to exchange three or four times. So I just drop them on the ground and that's how I get them. Now I was looking for a Sadida because uh, as I mentioned before, you need 10 pieces of tough. Now you can take all 10 pieces of hair from a single Sadida, but you will need to find one. So I remember that the best way to find a character is by going to Astrobe, and yep, I found two right here. So I quickly teleported my team to the sap and I started cutting some hairs. In total, I repeat, you will need 
10 10 sadida hairs so as you can see here i now have all 10 of them and we can continue now as uh, i saw that i only got one bone from the tame troll i didn't really want to insist on that so i decided to go to bonta and visit the kenya plains in this case because you know that next to this sub uh, you will find a forest and in this forest you will find some trolls now let me tell you that these trolls are not easy i mean they are way way above your pay grade but if you are like really good at playing the game and you find like a group with one or two monsters not like this one because you will probably die as you can see here i was trying to get these two trolls but the thing is that i was trying to get the uh, the challenge done sorry at the same time and i had no really problem with the troll i really killed him but then remember that the other one casts this shields and stuff and he basically killed me because of that and well yeah if you're doing this quest it's not really necessary to run the challenges because the drop rate is 100 percent but I was actually trying to drop another resource, but uh, as you can see, I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. They killed me. <laughs> they killed me. I'm sorry, mom. I disappointed you. <laughs> well, anyways, it was super fun because um, I could really see if I could handle something bigger than I. And I couldn't handle this one very well. But anyways, I came back and I find that I could fight single ones. It's really difficult, let's be honest. It's really difficult to find single trolls. But well, I managed to find around 5, which are enough because you need to drop 5 bones. So as you can see, in single combats it's not that difficult. It was really, really straightforward. Just and there we go five bows you need three more now as you can see here i found another one which was really good i thought that it was taking me more time but nope i found another one so then after killing him and getting all the bones you will simply go back to bark and roll you will tell him that you are ready freddy and he's gonna tell you that you are not even close to be ready that you need to go and look for some other resources for him in this case you will need to kill a vampire using the scalp and a borg scene now you don't need to go to the dungeon you will just need to oh it's borg Solheim or something like that you will find her right here. This is a... Uh, mm, I don't know how to describe this combat. It's tricky. It's tricky. You will need to use Erosion for this one because she heals a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean... I, I mean it. It's a lot. She heals a lot. So you will need to use the Erosion every single time you can. To avoid wasting your time. It's not that difficult, it's just tricky. So after killing her, I went to the cemetery because I needed to kill some vampires. And that's exactly what I did. Now you will need to kill only one vampire to get some brains. But I decided to kill this whole monster group because I wanted to get the achievement. So, yep easy busy easy money easy experience now you will need some other resources but you can actually buy them i'm not even gonna show them because they are really easy to get and then you talk to work and roll once more and for the last one you will need to kill certain sea creatures 
I think it's the muscles. The muscles. I, I don't know the names in the game. Now you will need to kill them. And I, of course, decided to go for the most difficult one. I don't know why. I suppose I, I just wanted to get some fun out of it. I don't know. But anyways, you will need to kill one of them. Again, wearing the scalp. Wearing these knives that he gave you. Now, it's not really difficult. Just keep in mind that some of these monsters have really high water resistance. So as you can see, there's the resource is going to be 100% drop rate. So you took to work and roll one more time. And as I leveled up, I realized that we now got another achievement. As you can see now, we've got the Goblin Market. So yeah. 10 more points into the achievement points and now we are under 1500 which is great as you can see here I also get got the duo on grown up the field vermin achievement as well this coral leaf duo and all of the rest ones the tofus because I needed to kill a tofu and having the duo on smiths i got this rictus so that's it guys that was the episode number 13 i would really like to thank you all very much for all the support you have been giving me and i hope to see you in the next one now don't forget to subscribe remember that it's completely free goodbye guys goodbye